All right, guys, go to boy 32 here, check it out. So we're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack. My rear end is exhausted. Just got done putting about 250 square foot of uh, hardwood floor. Got the five inch hickory stuff pre-finished. Three quarter inch TNG. Anyway, uh, trying to make my wife happy. But in any case, one of the things that I wanted to talk about in this video, I've got a bunch of stuff laid out here in front of me, uh, is in response to the video I did last week talking about pistol length, rifle length, others, things of that nature. And man, did we learn a lot. And I hope you guys did as well in that, in that video with the response and what people were saying. And there was a lot of information that I did not cover in that. Uh, one being uh, length of pull for a brace and the effect that putting a law tactical folder on a pistol length lower happens to, you know, have some things that we need to be concerned about. Also, a lot of people ask me about a vertical grip on this guy right here. So, uh, did a lot of research and uh, I got some answers. One of the coolest videos out there is Adam Kraut, the, the Gun Collective. He goes over a lot of this stuff talking about the full length. You're talking about firearm, pistol, rifle, any other weapon, what you can and can't do with some of this stuff. So, I thought that was really cool and I listened and I'm getting ready to share that with you guys if you don't already know. Uh, another thing, uh, the interpretation of if you can buy an other and do whatever you want with it, well, to be honest with you, you probably can. Who's going to care? Who's going to know if you do what you do, if you want to do? But uh, one of the things is, say, this lower right here. Let's start off by talking about this. When you purchase these things, you're going to have them. They're, they're going to come as a receiver or other. They cannot sell it to you as a pistol or a rifle. And to answer a couple questions is this, yes, you cannot buy this if you are 18. Okay, This has to be sold to somebody who's 21 or over. So that answers one of the questions. The other question that everybody came up with, and as some people pointed out, was a letter of response. When I said you could take and change them back and forth, there's some truth to that, and there's also some uh, unrealistic things that I think are just silly. Uh, one being is that if you have a, a receiver like this, uh, they actually say in the letter, this is in response to somebody who asked about the situation and transferring stuff back, and they said, once a barrel is attached to an action. Now, this is kind of where I have some questions. And by God, I'm not going to sit here and write letters and ask anybody else because that's just opening the can of worms. And we don't need any more worms open or cans full of worms open to uh, somebody who is uh, going to interpret something the way we don't. But anyway, they say that once a rifle length barrel is attached to or affixed to an action. And in my book, I'm thinking bold action. Uh, the receiver itself, this is a receiver, okay, or the action. Is this the action or is the upper receiver, like this guy right here, is this the action? I don't know. But when they say that you've got a, a rifle length barrel that is attached to the action, you can't then, and again, turn it into a pistol later on. I don't know, a lot of people are like, well, what do you do? And I go, well, what you sure shit gonna, not going to do is uh, do a video of you switching them back and forth. But just for the record, I want everybody to know that as soon as I bring a, a receiver home like this, I take it and I do this. Okay, now that's pistol. Once I did that, okay, by law or legally, now I can take this rifle length, I can put it on there, okay, like that. And I can switch them back and forth as long as you, you know, remember that uh, you need to make sure you've got a brace versus a stock on there. Now, if you buy your other or your receiver and you've got your rifle length and you all of a sudden these two just want to kind of mingle together for some reason, don't let them do it. Don't just don't let them do it because, gosh, you can never change this back to a pistol. Of course, no one's going to know or who would know. Uh, but in any case, that's the big deal. Uh, one, another thing is, is, and we clarified it, is if you do take and you buy a rifle, AR-15 rifle, you really can't take that thing home and switch it over to an AR pistol. That's, that is the law. I do know that, and that's pretty simplified. Uh, a couple other things. Let's go ahead, and this is a, I can't wait to do a video on this. This is a Palmetto State Army. This is with the Geisley uh, handguard. This is their uh, Mark 14 with the FN barrel and the Geisley gas block, which has been pinned. I'm really excited about doing a video on that one. Uh, we're actually going to do another build 
Uh, we did the Everyday Joe. Just to let you know, I'm, I'm going to do another build, which is going to be the, and the, 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 the new Ultimate in Combat Rifle. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's talk about a few things after I tell my dog to shut the hell up. All right, so in the comment section, there were two other items that were really brought to my attention. And we're going to talk about those right now. One was the length of pull. I'm going to push this guy out of the way right now because this is probably catching everybody's attention. Uh, okay, so the purpose of the SBA3 brace is it is a brace. The ATF has determined that what they want to do is make sure that, I guess, you're not pulling it out too far uh, and then considering it being shouldered, okay, or you're changing the intent from being bra a brace to a stock. So what they did was they developed a thing called length of pull. And uh, it, here is one of the things I'm going to do. Uh, I went and bought this guy right here. Length of pull is the distance between the face of the trigger and your brace as it is fully extended. And that is all the way here. And you have to include the brace when you do this measurement, all right? So what you do is you take your measuring stick and you put it right here. So from the face of the trigger to the end of my brace, I've got about 12 and a 5 eighths which leaves me a lot of room to worry about the length of pull. So I'm not really concerned about that. But the problem is, is that now when you put a law folder on your pistol or pistol brace, you know how it, it extends the entire length. So when you fully extend this guy, all right, uh, what happens is, is now the length of pull, which is measured from this point, on this receiver to here is about 14, let's say 14 and a quarter. Now, with a brace, your length of pull is not supposed to exceed 13 and a half. So you really want to, don't be messing around with 13 and a half, you try to make it 13 and a quarter. How do we remedy that? Well, I'm gonna do that here very soon is we're gonna go ahead and cut uh, at least as much of the buffer tube right here and we're going to refit it and send it in there so until we achieve less than 13 and a half all right which will then give me the ability to put this with a brace on it on an AR-15 pistol or firearm and change the stock out and put a rifle upper on it which you know I can do that because um, you know I, I've basically uh, brought it home and put when I got it and put this up upper receiver on all my lowers every one that comes home matter of fact I don't even wait till I get home I just go and I, I take it from the store and I, I go oh look you two are meant to be together and well there you go so in any case uh this is going to be a really cool upcoming video here pretty soon which is one of the reasons why I went and bought that TIG welder hopefully get that thing up and running tomorrow Okay, so we covered length of pull. I'm gonna make this thing legal. All right, so now let's talk about another issue that was uh, brought up in the conversation. And this is the cool part that I like about what we do as a community, we're coming together. So if I'm wrong about something, man, I'm, I, I, I would want somebody to tell me about stuff because we're always learning. This guy right here, and again, one of the things I will tell you is that uh, the gun collective, Adam Kraut, who is, by uh, by the way, a lawyer. That's why they call him Esquire. Uh, Adam Kraut, Esquire. Uh, he goes through the whole deal about what's the difference between a pistol and any other weapon, a rifle, and then a firearm. Okay? And I'm not a lawyer, but I will tell you what the deal is here. Uh, this particular upper receiver that we transferred a bunch of stuff around, has a 12 and a half inch ballistic advantage barrel. Now, what does that 12 and a half inches do for me? Uh, it gives me the overall length that I need for this guy to not be considered a pistol, as well as not be considered an any other weapon or an SBR. All right, so what we do is in order to determine that, you have to achieve an overall length, not to include your uh, your brace because this is an accessory. This is not a stock. It is an accessory. So you got to pull it off. 
but you know it's interesting because you have to leave the brace on in order to measure the overall length uh, length of pull. So what we do, because it is considered to be a firearm and not a pistol, that's why we can do this guy right here. Now it's just seen on Instagram, uh, Mr. Guns and Gears, he put a picture of his modern weapon systems, basically the same setup here that he has. Uh, I'm not sure what the length of the barrel is, but because I have a 12 and a half inch barrel, we measure from this point here, the end of the buffer tube, because that's the permanent part, to the end of the bore, which gives me an overall length right here of just a tad over 27 inches. So there's no question that this guy is a firearm, but not considered a pistol. Now here's the difference. You can conceal a pistol. I cannot conceal a firearm. If you do, then it becomes in any other weapon, and there you go, you're in trouble. There's a lot of cool things that uh, are out there. And uh, like somebody said, man, don't worry about talking to your FFL, contact ATF. Well, I'm not really wanting to do that because I don't want to raise any questions that normally don't need to be raised. But that's it. Um, we talked about the uh, 4473. Other, uh, as soon as you get your uh, receiver, just put a 10 and a half inch barrel on top of it. That's as good as anything I guess they could ever do. Uh, so then you can do whatever you want with it. Then you've got your length of pull. Make sure when you have your law folder that you go ahead and you've got to cut that uh, buffer tube down to where your length of pull does not exceed 13 and a half inches. Then you've got this guy right here. This is a firearm. Now, at the end of the day, uh, this is one of the, my travel thing, <laughs> my travel thing, my travel firearm. And I want to be able to reduce its size by putting the law folder on it. Now, that's another question. If you're 13 and a half inches, well, because it has a brace on it, you have to have it less than 30, 13 and a half inches. All right, well, guys, that's it. I wanted to do this video real quick. We're going to be touching on uh, the, the witch, Hillary, not Hillary. God, I'm so used to saying that. Nancy Pelosi, who's trying to hold the country hostage uh, to incorporate this H.R. House Bill 5717 whatever it is that the, the jackass who developed the whole thing when flipping over Guam. Anyway, that's it, guys. I hope you appreciate this video. I just wanted to put this out there. It was a lot of fun just to sit down and have a little chat. Uh, but with that being said, God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform who protect us based on our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. Uh, if you haven't already done so, subscribe. Hit the like button, and uh, I've got a Patreon thing down below. we uh, doing some giveaways out there to in appreciation for those guys. I'm hoping to uh, get the reapply for monetization tomorrow. So uh, I understand it takes a little while, but we'll see what happens in the future. Guys, I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Hey, and add some comments. If you find something that I say that is not accurate, I want to hear about it. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.